Interface on today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to install the Ryujinx emulator um, on your PC. It's the Switch emulator. Um, since it's a Switch um, tutorial, um, I got to give a disclaimer. Um, this is for educational purposes only. I do not condone um, any piracy. With that out of the way, um, I'm going to be leaving you this link in the description for the Ryu Drinks uh, download. So you just go over to download on the page. Um, this works for Mac OS, Linux, or Windows. Um, today I'll be doing Windows. So all you got to do is uh, press the Windows logo and it'll, it'll automatically download as a zip file. So this is what it's going to look like when you download it. There it is. Um, just run through the installation. With uh, Just go to the application and run the exe file. It should be pretty quick. Um, I'm also going to leave you a link for the uh, prod key and the firmware for 16.02. Uh, so there's a prod key there. So you just take this out of the folder and I'll show you where to put it. And then also the uh, firmware, which you don't have to unzip. You can just leave it like this and it's going to work. Um, so now we'll uh, run Ryu Jinx. Um, I've already configured mine, but I'm going to go through uh, what you have to do. So I created a shortcut for the uh, emulator. So just double click on it. There you go. Um, so this is the emulator with all my games. Um, so the first thing you're going to do uh, when you first open this application. Um, you're going to go over to file. Um, open Ryujinx folder. This is the folder here. So system. And then prod keys. So you have to replace um, this uh, prod keys uh, file with the one that I'm going to give you in the description. So just uh, copy and paste it in here. So you're done for the prod keys. And then for the firmware, uh, go to tools. Install firmware and then install firmware from XCI or zip. And then you just got to find the file. Uh, mine's in downloads, firmware. And then here it is here. And then you click open. I'm not going to do that because mine's already done. Um, so that's pretty, uh, pretty much it for getting it going. Um, so once you do that. You go under settings. Um, you got to create your own uh, folder for the ROMs. So mine is under uh, my uh, D drive, Nintendo Switch ROMs, NSP or XCI. It doesn't matter which ones you use. They both work. And then just add the folder and then apply. That's all you got to do. Um, then you got to go into input. And then you configure your your controller. Uh, what I recommend you using is the Xbox One controller. I figure that's the one that, that works the best. So just go in here, player one, and then configure your controller. So it'll be under the best one to pick is uh, the Pro Controller setup, which has all the buttons for the mapping. And as you can see, um, the input device for me is the Xbox One S controller. So it'll show up right there automatically once you, you have it uh, plugged into your computer. And then you just go through the mapping. Should be pretty straightforward. And then just go save and then close. And then apply and save and then close this window also. And then once you have your games um, transferred over... In NSP or XCI format, 
they should run. Um, a lot of the games run fine. Um, so all you got to do is go to a game. Um, double click and it, it should start. So we'll go Super Mario Bros. Wonder. Double click. Sometimes it takes a few uh, seconds to start going. And there you go. So it loads right up. Um, so that's basically it for this video. I hope it was helpful. Um, I will leave all the links in the description. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. And on to the next one.